Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well. Did you all go to bed? I promise you, I did go home. I promise you, I did. I've not stayed here all night. I have had a wash. Welcome to the studio, everyone. My name is Tony Derrick, and this is a lovely morning to come and be creative and get some inspiration. And hopefully, I will inspire you enough to pick up a paintbrush. That's the plan. So thank you for taking this lovely Saturday morning out to come and join me. If you're painting along, it's in real time. So it'll be perfect for you if you are a beginner or maybe if you're advanced, we can just do it together. It doesn't really matter. But as always, you can go back and watch this video at any point throughout today, tomorrow, this year, next year, whenever. It's always going to be there. So don't forget to click that subscribe button because not only do we do these lovely, lovely um, sort of free lessons, free playtime. We also do, uh, we are a craft company as well where we promote and sell our own goods and we do inspiration probably most days of the week as well. So if you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you don't click that little bell, that's okay if you don't want to be notified, but if you do, which a lot of you will, then click that little bell because sometimes when you're eating a cake or a coffee, you just need that nudge, don't you? Because we forget, because I do it all the time. So let's say hello to some of the lovely ladies and gents that are on this morning. So good morning, Marilyn. Good morning, Karen and Shirley and Deborah and Tracy and Elaine and Jane. Going to watch if she can. Hi, Pat. Lovely to see you, sweetheart. Not seen your name for a while. I hope you're OK. And if you have been on, I apologise. Sometimes it goes too fast. But we are in for a lovely treat this morning now. Let me turn this um, heater off because I'm already getting hot. <laughs> so it's lovely to see you all. So today's class is not here to intimidate you in any way. It's just a bit of fun. So if you look at our free painting classes from, I think I haven't done one for about a month now, maybe a little bit longer. We did some tulips, but we broke it right down. We painted like a cracked egg, if you remember. And then you were all painting cracked eggs. Then at the last minute, we drew some leaves in, painted some leaves in, and we ended up with a lovely tulip masterpiece, didn't we, if you remember? Some of you loved your artwork, some of you hated it. But I know that most of you did go on and do it and attempt it a second, third, fourth, fifth time. And then the results you were quite happy with. And we're not born artists, unfortunately, we are not going to paint the amazing masterpiece on our first attempt. It takes time, it takes patience, but most of all, I think personally, I do it for the mindfulness, to step away from work, to step away from being a mum, just take that time out just to be creative. If I get something at the end of it that I'm proud of, brilliant. If I'm not so proud of it, the book gets shut and I just move on to the next one. But I'm always picking up that brush, which means I'm getting, uh, I'm practicing and my hand is moving and learning and understanding how water works and things like that. Lovely to see you all. There's lots on this morning. No pressure then, hey? So have we all got a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? I have my coffee here. Thank you to Tim. Thank you very much. So Tim's on the cameras today. So if it's not great, great, you can say. <laughs> so this morning i thought i'd just talk you through the brand new brushes if you have brushes and watercolor card and paints at home that you love and adore i'm not here to hard sell it's not about that however we do provide products as well for you to watercolor with as well so if you sat on the fence and you're thinking i'm going to give it a go i don't have a set of brushes well we do provide them so i'm going to talk you through a couple of the components we're going to need this morning <clears throat> and then we're just going to get cracked straight on now. i don't know how long it's going to take but it is saturday morning and we can have a cup of tea and we can just enjoy the morning that's what it's all about enjoying the morning not putting ourselves under pressure or stressful um so let's have some fun so first of all for today you're going to need some watercolor card now i have popped everything on the website for anybody who's maybe wanting to take that next step who's not um um sort of done it before but seen it before and thinking do you know what i'm ready so i have the a4 and a5 card so this is our lovely watercolor card which we provide it is on the website as well so all you need to do is just key down from this live video and you'll see all of the products there so i'm going to be using the a5 one today we're going to be doing a smaller piece of artwork but there's also the big one as well. And if you buy on the HTC website, you get the points as well. So these are the two watercolour paper pads. But if you have watercolour paper at home, you'll love stick with it. I also have a set of these watercolours as well, which I've popped on the website for you. These are the 24 set. <laughs> I 
And these are the colours here. There we go. I'll just put them in the right way for you. There we go. So you can see all of those lovely colours. Price point on these, incredible. If you haven't got watercolours, great starting point. They are highly pigmented from Superior. They are not the best in the world, but they're certainly definitely in the middle, so they're not the worst. And for what you get in here for the price, it's amazing, and it's a great starting point. So don't go out and buy a £100 set of watercolour pans. I have them. I have lots of them. I have all the expensive brushes. Uh, but if you're just starting out, you just need the basic of things. And these are more than just basic for the price point. So they're available on the website too. And then we have the fabulous brushes, which are second to none. So paintbrush, it's like what's most important on your car, your wheels. You would not scrimp on your wheels. Your wheels are what stabilise your car. They're the most important thing on your car. When you're painting, they're brushes. So we cannot compromise on brushes. So quickly run through of our brushes. So we have three sets of brand new brushes. You were all waiting for these patiently. I think a lot of you have got these ready for today. Probably really excited to see them and use them. So we have our set of flat wash brushes. So you can see here. So you get four in this set here. Comes with the cool cord, which, one second, you just pull. And it's going to stand proud tight or as small as you want on your desk so you have a ginormous one for your big washes for when we do bigger masterpieces right down to the smallest one as well they are super soft brilliant quality i cannot tell you and because the price is that it is you're probably thinking well they're not expensive and if you're saying they're amazing they would be way more than that yeah they actually would but i bought thousands of these knowing that people would continue to buy them and i could get the price down if i bought more so that's the flat brushes there so i'll just move that to the side let's move it out of the way we're going to use that one today and then let's do the next one so the next one is your Let's have a look. Connecting paints this morning. Have you all got your paints out? Are you all ready for me already? Crikey. So these are your spot brushes. So you get like a rigger brush, which is going to give you the twigs, the berries, the buds, the fine detail, the stamens, the um, grass, you know, to give you that grass feather effects. If you're painting feathers and you want to get detail. So you have spots, spot small ones and rigger large. You can see there. I have put every size in there you're ever going to need. Now, I could have just put four in like the last one, but I felt you really needed all of these. And to bring out another set later would be just silly. So I've popped them all in there six in total and you'll see these used a lot when you come to do your christmas cards and things like that when you're painting that lovely snow on top of a twig or something like that you really need the detailed brushes so that's that one we're all doing okay denise we are all doing okay and then lastly you have your watercolor now if you're sitting on the fence and you want some watercolor brushes get these i would say you're probably not going to need the wash and the, the spot brushes yet okay the wash brush maybe but anything for your water coloring are these ones here so these are your four brushes okay so you have four watercolor brushes it goes up to quite a largish one which is going to allow you to get those sort of abstract tea watercolor roses things like that and then we go down to this one here which is quite a small one which is a six you always know that i do four six eight predominantly um any smaller than this you then step into your spot brushes so these are your watercolour ones. These are all on the website. Have a look. Let's move on. Like I said, it's not. I don't want to sell. But if anybody is watching at home and does want to get involved and hasn't got things, then they can. Just going back to these spot ones here. We, these ones have a lovely ergonomic sort of barrel on them as well. So for fine detail, you really need a good grip. And these have got like an ergonomic barrel on there. So you can grab them and really get that detail on there. Can you see that there? So super, super cool. Once you've got these, you're never going to need another brush again, really. All of my other expensive £100 brushes are probably redundant. I have been for a while, to be fair. But you know what it's like? We have to have it all. You know what it's like? So next thing I want to show you is my book. So you will all know, you, I, send, I post pictures every now and then when I've had an opportunity to sit on the couch or sit in the garden or whilst I'm waiting for Tom at sports practice to just play and paint. So I just wanted to show you my book here. So if you're thinking about maybe um, doing a bit of a watercolouring journey, then the books are a great starting point. Now, this one I have here is the Secura one. It's not a watercolour one, though, guys. Don't get this one for watercolouring. Although <clears throat> mine's got watercoloured images in there. 
This one is more of a pencil sketchbook, okay? And it's not great. If you're going to get one, you need a watercolour one, which I have coming soon. But have a look when you're buying one. If you're buying a little journal, make sure the card is watercolour card, not sketch card, okay? So let me just show you some of the things that I play around with. Now, some of these you will have seen. Some of these you will have probably not seen because I didn't feel they were good enough to show you all. So I'm just going to flick through some of these pages here and show you how sort of you can see my journey, where I've gone, what I've wanted to try. So if you're wanting to try it yourself, you know, don't be scared. And the book gets shut. Nobody has to see it. It's not going on a card. And these are great for practicing and things like that. So let's just show you a few of the things that I, oh, they are some Christmas baubles next year. Look at that. You saw me sketching in circles. Bit of a cheat there. So just playing with colour, you can see as well, I always do a backwash. I hate my artwork float, uh, floating. I, as pale as it is, I always do a backwash, and that's where your flat brushes are going to come into play. So trying to be um, really vibrant with colour on this one, you know, step away from pretty pinks and yellows to only reds and, you know, blue tones. It's really difficult to do, you know, if you haven't got the courage. But, you know, in my book, I'm okay to push my boundaries have a go, have a play. Um, as you can see, my painting is very loose, but as individuals, we are all going to be really, really different. Bit of um, daisy work with some pen line in there. So you've seen some of these. And I'm just going to, some of them I'm proud of, some of them not so much. I tried to recover this one time and time again and it just ended up being a bit of a mess, a muddy mess. You've seen this one, one of my all-time favourites, the industrial. We will do that one. Oh, I did a bit of a scene. I actually like this one, but I didn't get my people into perspective because these are the same size as those people at the back, so I'm not quite right. I need to draw those lines in. That's going to help me with that. So, just every day. Another industrial one I tried in red and black. Tried to be a bit arty. So you can see, guys, I'm not a professional. I am doing exactly what I love to do, and that is watercolour, okay? And I would like everybody at home to do the same. <clears throat> Excuse me, I get so much enjoyment out of playing. And if you can do the same at home, then that's amazing. And I think I'm coming towards the end. Oh, this was a flower. It ended up being a blob, so I changed it into a bit of abstract. Some leaves with, tried to create the effect of snow, went horribly wrong, and there we are. So that's my book. Love the daisy one, dear. You? you know, quickly shut that book, because, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm not embarrassed by them, but, you know, work in progress. Like I say, nobody's born an artist, and I don't care if they're brilliant or if they're rubbish. The time I spent doing them distracted me from... Uh, everyday life. So I'm okay with it. Let's have a look. Stacey, you can join the club anytime. It lasts for a year. All you need to do is buy the club. Um, once you've done that transaction, it'll automatically do it. And then when you come out and want to make your order, go log back in and it'll show you as a club member, sweetheart. Lovely art book. I'd be proud of mine if it looked that good. I'm just going to put the heating back on. I'm so sorry. It's quite chilly now. I've, I've calmed down now. So let's have some fun. So if you are painting along, I am going to be using some of these lovely products. Now I'm going to be using my A4 pad, A5 pad. So I'm just going to grab some. So if you, you're going to need some watercolour card, some water, some brushes, and some watercolours. I am going to use these ones. However, if you did catch the show yesterday, let me just show you these. If you did catch the show yesterday, these were in there. Tubes are always a great way to um, paint as well. They last you a lifetime. And these are by Superior as well, great quality. And I think these are £20. £20, I mean. Um, and there's, I think when I looked, excuse me, sorry, when I looked this morning, there was nine of these left. Nine. So I'm just going to pop them back. So if you're thinking, do you know what? I'd like to try tubes. Or I'd like to try something different. Well, there you've got the opportunity to do that. So let's, I'm going to use these ones today. 
and I'm going to bring in my wash brush. Now, what, what we're going to do is we're just going to get our hand our hands going okay so we just put it on the overhead um, if you want to um, Tim and then I'll just crack on uh, Tim's gonna keep popping in and out making sure I'm good he's got a lot of work to do as well bless him so let's be quick so I'm gonna get let's play with some shapes and some color get some color laid down take that fear out of it and then we'll move on is that okay let's have some fun now if you are watching you can mute me if I'm um, I did have an email saying I was annoying so you can mute me and just watch if you want to um, <clears throat> but it's all good fun isn't it hey so I'm gonna use my size 8 here and when you get them they're hard okay they're hard you need to break those fibers they're hard because they need to connect them all together to get them into the barrel here but once you've broke the fiber they are an amazing brush so so beautiful so let's have a play shall we just do our let me just get some water on my brush here. Never leave your paintbrush in your water. You rot your brushes. Always have them out. Look at me. Look at me with a full set of watercolours here. Brand new. Crikey. <gasps> my gosh, oh my gosh. Right, so first of all, we're going to do a poppy, okay? We're just going to play with a poppy. Now, this is your scrap piece of card. This isn't going to be um, your masterpiece. We're just going to play, okay? So you're going to need a red, some black, and some green. Black is going to give you that deep burgundy colour for your poppy. You might need an orange as well. Let's have a look. What's how rude to say that? Can you just check that, please? Tim, can you just have a look at chat for me? See what's, what's been said there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to get a green as well. You also get a brush in here, look. Sorry, I was a little bit distracted there. I don't like the thought of anything unkind being said to another one of our fellow crafters that's also anyway we're back on track i believe so i'm just going to open my green here you might have your yours already open oh sorry roxa oh yeah no oh, i don't mind people being unkind to me i'm thick-skinned but not to my so not to my friends right so um <clears throat> i did so don't worry the reply did say just mute me <laughs> So, let's just have some fun. Have we all, are we all ready to go? Yeah, you can remove them because you can buy replacements, sweetheart. So you can refill the pans. You can obviously use this as a palette as well if you want to. And what I'm going to do, just as a special... Oh, gosh, what am I like? Just as a special treat, because I have lots of watercolours, you all know, but you've seen my craft room. If you pop a comment underneath this video, I will give this set away. They'll be used, obviously, because I'm going to use them today. But I will give this lovely set to one lovely winner, for, just for tuning in. So if you all go silent and stop talking, it's fine. I know it's because you're all concentrating. But if you have any questions, you can ask them. But if they don't get answered, please don't worry about it, because I will go back and review the video. What normally happens in these sessions is we start a painting, everybody gets distracted and forgets to answer questions and things like that, which fills me with joy, because I know you're all trying your hardest at home to create something quite beautiful. So let's, let's get some colour down. Red. There are a couple of techniques when it comes to um, watercolouring. But first of all, before we get into any fancy stuff, let's get some mix of colour on our palette here. These are so, so pretty. So I'm just activating this red on here. Look, get some red on your palette. Mix it up. I might have an orange as well. So I refer to anything that looks wild as a poppy. I love wild poppies. We've painted poppies before, I believe, some time ago now. Um, so I'm going to show you a picture out of the book I've just shown you. Get some nice water on here. So you want it to be like a puddle, 
Okay, so when you bounce it in, it's like you're jumping in and out of a puddle in the street. Can you see there? You can see sort of like prints in there. So it's quite watery, quite wet. Okay. So I know that a lot of you like to see what we're painting. Now, I'm, we are painting a bit of a red poppet, given the day and things like that. But what shape you're aiming for, just so you're all thinking, well, I like to see what I'm aiming for. is this sort of look here. Can we see here? Now, this one's more abstract, but what we're going to do is just a little poppy head, some green down the base, okay? So, Ram Roseanne, pans or tubes? Good question, Roseanne. I like both. Tubes give you an even vibrant, give you more vibrancy in your paint as well. Um, I think the reason probably why peop most people use pans is just simply because they're accessible. The smaller you can travel with them. Whereas with your tubes, it's a little bit more difficult, but you can get some great results from your tubes. And little, little goes a long, long way. So, so let's get some colour down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint like a, a little bit of a love heart, okay? So... So I'm just doing a bit of a love heart on its side. This is how I sort of relate to painting flowers. You see that there? Nothing fancy. Last time we were painting eggs, this time we're painting hearts. I'm just going to fill in that space. I'm going to have to turn the heating off now. It's drying my artwork quicker than I can get it on page. So I've sort of painted a heart on its side there. Yeah, so the replacement paints for these, yes, we've got these already. We're going to be stocking lots and lots of different um, watercolours because they're all different. They all do different things. Some have metallics in. Some are more affordable, but not as good. So if you're wanting them for your friends or who are just, you know, th th we've got all sorts of different levels from advanced watercolour to, you know, intermediate to beginner. So I'm trying to accommodate for everyone. So all I'm going to do here is whilst it's wet like that, remember, we're just practicing here. I'm just going to take some red direct from my pan here. I'm just going to drop some red in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like draw another heart within. And what will happen is the water will just carry that heart across. Can you see that there? They always look, paintings always look pants right until the last minute, I find. So you can see that it's already sort of started to create something that didn't look like what I originally popped it down as. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the red again and I'm just going to paint a smaller heart inside. And this is how I craft as a painter. I always refer to flowers and things like that as shaped. The tulips are eggs. Daisies are like twisted stars. I always try and get a shape in my head thinking, right, I'm going to go with the shape in my head. See that there? So now what I'm going to do is my outline to my design is quite sterile, isn't it? It's like, it doesn't look anything like this, which is okay, because we're just playing at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a wet brush, clean, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edge of the design with a clean, wet brush. Okay? Clean, wet brush all the way around. And as you can see, the pink has already started to bleed into... <clears throat> That water. So I'm just going to let it work its magic. <coughs> Excuse me. I've, you know, you know, I've had a little bit of an infection, chest infection. Now it's absolutely gone. It went within like 48 hours, but the throat side of it's still, still hanging around. <laughs> so you can see it sort of started to bleed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some more clear water. I'm just going to add some more around the edge of my heart. It looks like it's getting quite big. 
But what I'm doing is I'm creating sort of a natural bleed for my artwork to go into. If I hold this up a little bit closer, you can see it's all bleeding out. Can we see that there? So because we've got rid of that off, awful, it wasn't awful, but it was a starting point. We've got that lovely heart. And because that heart now is sort of dispersed, you can't really see that it's a heart now. It's sort of like a little bit sporadic. I'm going to take some of the more, some of the red paint from my palette here. I'm just going to drop it into where the darker areas are. So I'm just going to pounce it in. You know where the dark areas are on the heart? Pound some more of that red in. And what will happen is the water from our outline will just disperse and that gets rid of your heart but it will keep the design of our floral i'm just pouncing it into where that original heart was right down here i think pounce 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 pounce, pounce. and it looks ugly at the moment because we've got a wet like halo around but don't worry about the halo so you can now see We've completely lost our heart and that's the aim, okay? It's dispersed into that water. We haven't got an ugly, harsh line. So when that water dries, you're going to have a very soft line, okay? And the reason why I've chosen to do a heart is because we could have done a poppy which was like head on, black in the centre and circular. Brilliant. But what we're doing here is we're creating a flower that is like on a side and that's the reason why I went for a heart. So it's going to give you, rather than a flat focal poppy, we're going to have something that looks like you're looking at it from the side, which is super cool. So I'm just, going to, I'm just letting the colour do its thing there. Now if you continue to add red and red and red into this wet water, you're going to be here all day. Because the, the red in this palette here isn't any darker, so I'm just sort of like making it wetter and wetter and wetter. Okay, so you need to give it time to sort of like go off, as the word would say in watercolour. You need to let it go off. And as you can see, mine's just doing its own random thing. But you can see already, can you see this sporadic edge? Is where you get these sort of sporadic edges. And the way that you do that is you add the halo of clean, clear water. And that gets rid of any harsh lines, okay? <clears throat> so you can just keep playing, punching, add in the red. But I've lost my design anyway, so it's okay. I need to let it go off a little bit. Now, I have a heat gun at the side of me, which I could sort of coax it along a little bit. But if people are painting along, I can't really do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that a second to go off. Now, in this back part here, shall we have a practice with some leaves of some form? So create some sort of very... Um, loose leaves while this is sort of working its magic and we'll come back to this okay but if you have a gun at home you can speed up the process but never dry it thoroughly if you are using a gun okay always leave it so it's quite damp so you've still got that um, capability to move the colour around a little bit because sometimes when it's absolutely solidly dry it's really difficult to lift anything out or move anything around okay So let's do some green. Let me just, I did unwrap a green, didn't I? Let me get another green as well. So <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll let that one go off, ish. I need it to still be wet, but I'm just going to take a green as well from here. A lighter green too. And we'll practice a little bit of this. So remember, this is just your practice sheet. If it's going horribly wrong, it isn't the end of the world. This is not our masterpiece. We always just play first, try and play with a bit of water, understand where it's going. So let's um, bring these into play here. So let's mix some green. So you need a light green, lightish green, grass greeny colour. So you can see here, look, I wish my grass looked like that. <laughs> can we see this here? These are going to last you a long time. But don't forget, when I've gone off air, pop a comment under the video and I'll send these paints out to one lucky winner. So I've got a nice, nice green here. So if you've watched any of our other videos, we always do our leaves in a specific way. We always do tip, belly, tip. 
Okay, so I'll just quickly just demonstrate that one for those of you who are maybe watching for the first time. So we go, let me just take out some of the colour here. So we push down with our point, we push our belly down, as in the brush, and we bring it back to a point. So you get this sort of look, it's not very dark, is that? Let's get some more colour on there. So tip, belly, tip, and you get this sort of look. Can we see that there? This is how we do our leaves, very basic leaves, but they work. So if you turn it this way, you can see how it looks like a leaf. So why don't you at the side of this one here, very quickly, let's just get our hand in motion with this one. So tip, belly, tip. Or you can do it the other way from the base, tip, press down. So do a few leaves on your scrap piece of card, or watercolour card. Oh, let's just do some more here. And maybe take your tip off to a little bit of a curve. So we've got some different ones. I'm not going to go into too much detail with these because if you go back and check out the YouTube where we did the tulip, we spend quite a bit of time on how to get really lovely leaves. Okay. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to do a bigger one. Let me just mix up some more green here. So let's do a big one. And it has to be sort of done in two parts. Um, Unless you're swapping out your brush for a really big brush, which we can do, but I'm not going to because I think sometimes swapping in and out of brushes is going to overwhelm me. I'm just going to stick to my six. So this is how I'm going to do a bigger one, okay? So I'm going to do toe, belly, toe. Okay? And then I'm going to do it again at the side of it to create a bigger one. So toe, belly. So, so try a bigger one if you get this puddle here brilliant it looks cool okay so toe belly toe left toe belly toe right what size brush is Tom using I'm using my oh sorry I'm not using the smallest I'm using my eight <clears throat> using my eight Jan Uh, Roxanne, yeah, they're still on YouTube. Uh, you looked for them last night but couldn't find them. Ooh. Shall I post a link for you on uh, social media later? I'll find it for you. Or if somebody's on um, and can see it, could you post the link in chat? Or under the video, maybe that would be appreciated. If not, I'll find it for you, don't worry. So shall we just do one more of these? So toe, belly, tip. Toe, belly, tip. And if you get a little bit of a white line in the centre, don't worry about it. It looks awesome. And then you can just go in and add more green whilst it's wet. If you want to. You can see how you can get some pretty awesome. leaves coming together okay shall we go back to our red now let's just go back to our red because it's sort of the puddle of water's lifted a little bit so I have a shape okay so I need to go I'm just going to add a little bit let's let me mix some more red I'll just pull it into play here I'm just going to mix some more red So I have red there, and I need to mix another puddle of red. And this time, I'm going to add some black. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it more like a burgundy colour. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of this black, not too much. You see, it's just darkened it a little bit. There we go. See that there? So you can see the two shades. 
you could always re have a little palette of orange as well because sometimes poppies look a little bit beautiful when they've got a touch of orange in there as well so a red on its own and then we have that lovely subtle sort of not too dark line in there so let's take some of this so now what we're going to do is we're going to sort of put a crack in our heart okay so with that darker red i'm just going to put a crack in my heart you see that there simple simple maybe needs to be a bit darker oh maybe not that dark Tony add a bit more red I don't do what I just did there and had that huge dollop of black and now I'm trying to bring it back there we go that shouldn't be too bad so I'll try this one now so if you're finding that your piece of artwork is getting like everything's blending into one another you've got water moving all around it looks like a big hot mess a big puddle some of the cheats that you can do is when you're mixing your color like you've just seen me do here if you take the water out of your brush so you put your brush onto some what thing it takes out the water and then you're just left with the color can you see how we're getting this sort of it's just a crack or a soft line down one side and then all you're going to do is you're going to take that color and you're going to paint the rest of this side so one side of the crack you're going to paint in that darker color you see that there <clears throat> might need to be a bit darker after my incident with the black my gosh oh my gosh here we go again look so dark i have to pinch some of that red i think so you can see we've got sort of um a dark patch on the left you can see that there now take some more of the color add a bit more black if you want to if it's not quite dark enough and add some colour across your broken heart, okay? And just pound some of that darker colour in to the left hand side of your broken heart. So we should have two sort of different shapes of heart here going on. Can we see? If I'm pausing, it's because I'm just letting you catch up, that's all. <laughs> some dark and so I can see the difference between both sides So you can see from our original heart, can we see how over on the right here we have light and shade? So you sort of like created several petals without knowing about it, if that makes any sense. I should write a book, shouldn't I? Because everything I do shape wise, I really should. So you can see this is the little part you painted in. Can you see it there? That part there is going to be the centre of your poppy. How cool is that? Does anybody paint in shapes? I don't know. Is anybody weird like me? <laughs> and you can see how our poppy in the distance sort of disperses. So I, I can't really make out what petals or leaves, petals are going to be going on in the background here. But I can certainly see some formations going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take... <coughs> some red 
take the water out of my brush, take drink all that water out of that lovely brush of mine, which is amazing. I'm just going to pick up some red. I want it needs to be a little bit wet. Pick up some red. I'm just see see this sort of semicircle here, sort of design here. I'm just going to pounce my brush into this area in the red. Nothing precious, and it doesn't matter if it connects with your side here. You see that there? And then whilst it's wet, I'm going to take some black very carefully. Not that much black. I'm just going to add some black in as well. Just pouncing some of that black and some red into that half of that heart that we did. So I need to let that go off a little bit again before we can really, because if I continue on, it's just going to go into a muddy mess. You need to let some parts sort of go off. I'm just going to give you the opportunity to get to this sort of level or this stage because at the moment it still looks like a hot mess. We need to bring it together. But at the moment we're just working on our components, i.e. the heart, our cracked heart, our semi-heart. Add in a bit of colour. If you are wanting to paint a poppy for somebody, you can practice today. So I'm just going to give you one minute to just sort of, <clears throat> if you want to chat to each other, perfect. But if you want to um, wait till your artwork goes off there and then we'll sort of bring the poppy together and then we'll move on to a proper masterpiece. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just checking on social media now just to make sure nobody's missing out whilst that's going off. You're all, you all must be concentrating because nobody's talking, which is brilliant. I'll just make sure everybody's okay. It's weird because when you all go silent, I think I've lost you all. <laughs> I don't know I haven't. I know I haven't. I know you're all there concentrating. <laughs> I wish we could speed this up. I'm not going to speed it up though because I can't. I can't play what I miss too much. <laughs> uh, mine's a mess. <laughs> Come on, guys, stick with it, stick with it. Now, I'm absolutely doing this one on a big, this is a big poppy head, okay? When we come to do our masterpiece, we're going to do several little ones. But I think if you understand the shape um, and the composition type of it, it'll be far easier when we come to do our masterpiece in a smaller one. If you're ending up with a muddy puddle, it means you're not letting it do its magic and just leaving it like I'm having to do now. I know it kills us to be patient. But um, if you're ending up with a puddle, you're either using too much water, so don't forget to take the water out of your brush. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna risk it. Let's 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 get going a little bit more. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take more black here, mix it, dilute it down a little bit. And we sort of, this cracked left part of our flower here is a petal. So this is one petal, can we see here? So we just need to separate the petal here from our centre part here. So I'm just taking some of that black. It is diluted down here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that black and I'm just going to separate. So I'm just putting a line in on a little bit of that crack, a little bit. Okay, so I did from our crack on our heart, we did top to corner, if you remember. Whereas now, can you see I've done just the center part, I've just highlighted. And because it's not saturated, my black hasn't just gone, see you later, because I've allowed it a little bit of time to go off. It's holding the color a little bit better, but I'm still getting a slight, slight bleed. At last, I've got the leaves. Well done, Marilyn. You'll be painting lots of leaves. And one of our other videos as well, Marilyn, we paint a Christmas card and we had some little red bellies and bellies. <laughs> little red berries and some sparkle. And honestly, people are going to be blown away when they see what you've painted. Absolutely blown away. So you can see we've sort of defined our little petal here. Stick with it till the end. Yeah, remember, this is grand. We're going to paint an A5 one with a full, with three poppy heads, the buds, the grass. I know I've already been here an hour, but who cares? As long as everybody's okay with that, I'm happy to just sort of focus on this. So what I am going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more black to the centre. So everything's to be done in stages, okay? You can't sort of rush watercolouring. I think that's why I like it, because it sort of makes me slow down. I'm going to pound some more of the black into here. Try and get it a little bit darker this time. See there, so I've just defined the centre a little bit, and again, I'm going to have to let it go off. Just a work in progress, and so far, I'm really happy with it. Sue so loves the classes we did, yeah. Mine looks like a bleeding heart. Oh, my <laughs> bleeding heart. So I'm just keep adding a little bit more black when I think it's, it's allowing me to do so. You can sort of see it slowly coming together. So under this lovely sort of shadow here we've created with this petal, I want to make it a little bit more intense underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to take out the water, and I'm going to, well, the pan needs to be wet, so I'll make sure your watercolour is wet. But I'm going to take out the water out of my brush, pick up some of that red, and I'm just going to go underneath the black line just to intensify that red. Can we see there? So it's sort of, I'm going to get some more red. This is sort of like colour in its true form underneath that black line we did. Can we see that there? I've sort of like just underlined that black line. I'm still here. I'm just giving you a second. I don't think you just want me to rub it on. Um, I am still here, I promise.
Yeah, it is, it is looking 3D because we did that original heart, didn't we? It's just layers, really. But again, you have to have sort of the patience to. So whilst that's doing its little thing, let's quickly move on to a little bud, like a bud from a um, poppy, because all these parts are going to work together. Now, I'm conscious that this is going to take some time to put together. So I'm going to show you the bud, and then we're going to go straight onto our masterpiece. And this is going to be brought down to a smaller scale, which is going to give us a chance to do three little ones. So just leave that to dry. I can't really do much more with it anyway, because it's not gone off. You can see the shiny. Can you see how shiny it is? I'm not going to be able to work with that. It's too shiny. So let's do a bud. So we'll go, let's just go green. So a bud is sort of like an oval design, isn't it? So I just always just go for an oval design. I don't, it's not belly toe belly. It's just basically an oval. So I paint the oval like so. Like so, and then I just fill it in. If you leave a little bit of white somewhere, it means you've got sort of light and shade. And then if you want to take a little bit of the black, drop a bit of black into the tip of the um, bud. And we sort of like start to get, you can see already when this is going to be built in with our little poppy heads, we're going to have a little masterpiece, aren't we? So. Drop a little bit of black in. And then the buds of the poppy are always like looped over, like the double back on themselves. So I would just take, I'll just draw a line down. I mean, it wouldn't be straight, but you get the idea. And the good thing about the heads is you can just play with your colour, add a bit more green if you want to. And they have like hairy black lines on them as well, don't they? So you can really go to town that's got too much black in now, so I'm just going to take a bit of that out. Like so. Let's check my poppy here. Go to work. Right, let's move on. So top up your cup of tea as we're going on to Masterpiece now because I've already kept you an hour. Uh, I have a funny feeling if I wait for this to dry, we're going to be another hour and a half at least. So let's condense this down. It's just about getting the formation right and we'll do it on our Masterpiece. So grab a cup of tea. Oh, Leslie's got to go. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll still be here when you get back. Probably. Um, Grab a cup of tea, get a fresh piece of watercolour card, and then let's get cracked on with our masterpiece. Is everybody okay with that? So let's move this one out of the way. So you can, just going back to that one, you can see the shape we're aiming for. So we're going to go with that sort of shape where the pop is leaning over when I find it. The pop is leaning over. This one. So we're going to do the poppy leaning over, a small one. A straight one and one going down, buds and a bit of foliage at the bottom. And then you can put it on a card and give it to somebody. So let's just move this to one side. Yeah, it's still too wet. Grab another piece of card then. So we've got basically our palette's good to go. So once you've made one, you really have, you just need to activate it with some water. So let's get some more card. Grab a cup of tea, put the kettle on, I'll give you. Half a minute, <laughs> half a minute, and then we're going to move on to getting this beautiful poppy painted, what you're going to be incredibly proud of. Now, <clears throat> when we always do a practice, we always do it huge, because it's far easier to do than little. So I know, I'm just checking social media if you're wondering, <laughs> um, I know that if you're going to be able to do the big one, you're going to be able to do this little one far, far better. I'm using the smooth side, Sue. Oh, we've got some people on Facebook. Oh, I hope you're painting along. So we have done poppies before. 
just trying to find links for everybody. Uh, if you remember, we did the wetting wet poppies. Can you remember where we wet the whole page with a wash? Um, and then we dropped the red in and, oh, it was just amazing, wasn't it? And you need to go back and check those out because we've done, we have done some incredible classes. There's not lots, guys, but we have done some really good ones, I think. Particularly for people who are crafters and maybe just thinking, do you know what, I'd I would like to have a go at painting, but my genre is craft, really. Well, that's mine too, but, you know. So this is where, if you're wanting to really go to town with um, your, your paint brushes and buy them, this sort of design is going to lend itself well because your spot brushes are going to give you the fine grass and the hairs on the buds and the hairs in the centre of your poppies. Um, the wash brushes are going to give you that beautiful wash on the background. So I'm not going to do a wash on here, although my how I like to craft, I'm just going to put the heating on for a second, it's gone cold. Um, how I like to craft is I like to paint something for my artwork to sit onto, but it is personal preference and you will find your own way in, in time. Oh, I love doing that, yeah. If it looks round, it's not the end of the world. Um, poppies are round as well, just I find easier to do a heart with a poppy and it gets uh, it on an angle. But if it's round, it's round. Poppies look beautiful on the front, don't they? So shall we move on to this main piece now? Philomena, you always say yours looks like a muddy mess and then you pop it on social media and everybody's like, yeah, right, muddy mess. Uh, Philomena loves wet in wet technique. I think a lot of people love that one. It is one of the simpler techniques. You do get brilliant results. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. So, you've got your paint mix. You can add some more water if you want to. So, first of all, let's do just a tinsy wincy tiny one, okay? So, this time we're just going to go rogue, okay? So, keep them small. I've got a five by seven piece of card here. I'm going to chop it down and mount it onto a card as well, okay? So, let's go small. Let's do a little one here, okay, to the left. So I'm just going to take my red paint. Super, super easy. Are we all ready? You're all, have you all got a sweat on? <laughs> right, so I'm just going to just do a little heart. Uh, just Let's just do a little heart here, look. See that there and then within the heart because we're doing a different we're going to do a closed one here if you are i will stay positive good girl and then in here i'm going to do another heart shape in top because it, we're not going to see the center of this one so watch what i'm doing i'm going to draw another little heart inside can you see there so this is sort of a side one so in the base of this one in this one where we've just drawn the heart, I'm going to fill it in. And I am going to leave some little white spaces. Leave white spaces. Don't complete, the, don't complete it. Don't fill it. Can we see that there? I'll just hold it up for you if it helps. I haven't filled it all in. Don't fill it all in, okay? And then with this back space here, with a clean brush, clean brush, take some water out I'm just gonna color in the back heart now you will see it all just blends into one it's okay don't worry about it so I didn't have any color on my brush on that back heart can you see <clears throat> I'm just gonna pick up some more red I'm just gonna try and bring that heart back a little bit it's probably all just gonna blend into one but it's fine So hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. So my back one's diluted with just clean, clear water and the front one has red in. Now I'm just going to drop some red into this front one and hope it doesn't just go too much into the other part. Can we see that there? I'm just going to, I'm just going to absolutely leave that now. So let's do one on this side, but a little bit bigger. So exactly the same. Okay, <laughs> everybody's sweating. It's a piece of card. Come on, come on. So here we'll do another one at this side, but we'll do it a little bit bigger this time, okay? So I'm just going to do a heart. Not too big, though. Keep it realistic, Tony. 
a little heart, can we see that there? And then in the heart, I'm just going to do another heart because again, we're not going to see the middle of this one. So you can see. Can we see that there? But what does it look like? Yeah, it is. It's two hearts, one within the other. And I'm just going to take the red paint and I'm going to fill in this base. But again, leave some white spaces if you dare. So I'm just pouncing with my brush. And I have to turn eating off because it's drying my paint too quick. I've got white spaces in there again, guys. Back to my turn. And then clean brush, okay, clean brush, just with water and fill in the back. And you will instantly lose the heart from the front, but we'll pull it back, don't worry. So this has gone off a little bit. I'm just going to take some red. I'm just going to put some red back in to that heart at the front. It lets me. It's still a bit wet, I think. Yeah, it's too wet. <clears throat> so I've lost the heart there. Can we see? And it'll blend, but it's given us perspective. You don't know it yet, but it is given us perspective. So I'm just going to try and get this red in this one maybe a bit better. Bring my heart back. And pound some red into this front one. I mean, your heart needs to be a bit more prominent, so I'm going to go, see that there? If, it's, if you're putting it on and it's totally dispersing, it means your card's really wet, I would probably stop. I'm telling you to stop, but I'm still playing. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Everybody's got sweat. I will stay positive. Good girl. So what I'm going to do now is we need to get some texture in our, into our lovely poppy. So I'm going to take an orange. I'm going to mix a little bit of orange on the other side. Poppies look amazing with a bit of orange. So grab some orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a little bit of orange into the back part of my heart at the top. You see how it's just sort of doing its thing? I'm not going to mess with it. It looks like two hearts, two very broken hearts at the moment. <clears throat> So now we're going to move on to our big one. I'm just going to let that go off. Just turn my fan down a little bit. We're going to move on to our big one. But before we do that, because we want it to be a little bit free, a little bit forgiving, at stages throughout your painting, you can splash with clean, clear water. I'm just going to take some water and I'm going to splash it onto the design. Okay, and what will happen is the colour from the poppies will bleed out and it will sort of take away your eye from the heart shape and it will give a very free shape. Does that make sense? I'm just literally taking my brush, tap, 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 tap. And you can see the colours coming out of the sides. Can we see? And you can go as little or as much as you like. 
A lot of people don't like the splats. I think it's, the very, it's a very easy way to get rid of harsh lines. I'm just going to let that work its magic. The rest of my page is wet as well. It's okay. It's still fine. So let's get our big poppy in here. So let's get this red activated. Okay, and now we're going to do sort of a bigger pop it up here. So this time we're going to do a heart. We've got a bigger heart here. And then what we're going to do this time is we're going to do another heart offset. Okay, so you're going to do but the point of the heart comes back down to the same place. So you've done two connecting hearts. See that there? And then with the red, I'm just going to fill in the base of this one here. All about the hearts, which is very appropriate for poppies, isn't it? Leave some white spaces if you dare. So you can see the stages. Look how different they look. Absolutely see the stages. Now, if you like more round poppies, you can always bring your heart to sort of a rounded bottom. Can you see that there? So these ones have got points. We've done a rounded bottom one on this one. Super, super easy. <clears throat> so in the back one again, I'm just going to take clean, clear water, the back one, remember? Take out a bit of the water and I'm just going to add it into the back of the heart. So it sort of like hides our two hearts that we just did and connected. And then on this front one here, Just wait till you all get to this stage. Yeah, just watch, Stacey. A lot of people just watch and then see how it turns out. And then they get pause, mute, pause, mute, rewind. Da, 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 da. That's fine, darling. <clears throat> okay, so I just need to let this go off a little bit here. But whilst we're looking at these, so we've got like one shape here and one shape here. I'm just going to take some, because we've got a chance to come back to this now. So I'm just going to go back to that dark colour. I'm sort of going to bring back that line. You know, our broken heart. Bring back that line a little bit. It can be the shape of a heart or a broken heart. It really matter. See that there? So let's just get some more red on here. So shall we pop another connecting heart in here to make it more full? You, there, there are simply no rules. So let's draw another heart in here, look. See that there? Now you can see your flower. Can you see our flower, everybody? And we see our flower, everybody. Please say yes, or else I'm doing something horribly wrong. So we have three connecting hearts all in different places one to the left one at the front <laughs> i'm going to get this front petal really dark as, as much as i can i'm just going to add pound some red into this front heart now do you see i've still got some white in there Not doing it all because the water will just carry it anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enhance the second heart a little bit, but I'm not going to do it all. So I'm just going to take some of the red. I'm just going to drop it around the edge. 
You see that there? Still a bit too wet there, but anyway. I will do the top one too. It's like waiting, isn't it? It's like, oh, come on, come on. So whilst I'm waiting, and these two have sort of like, they've gone off a little bit. I'm just going to add some more orange. And trust me when I say to you, when you're doing this, you're thinking, you know, come on, guys, what is that? What is that? You need to stick it out to the very end, guys, because it doesn't come together till the very last minute. That'd be nice, case Masterpieces of your own work. Yes, on your summer house, I totally agree. So now we just need to add some sort of highlights, some darker colours, play around with colour. It's just really difficult to let things go off. I am trying to be patient. I am, sorry. I'm just pouncing some more red in here. I'm going to pounce a little bit of red up top as well here. Take some of the um, black, mix some of the black. I'm just going to add some black to the base here. A bit of black to the top, maybe. So we're just sort of getting our perspective together, adding a bit of detail. I'm pouncing colouring, and I'm, I'm using the black the red and a bit of orange at the moment. Now, if you put some colour down and you don't like it, there is a great tip, okay? Dry your brush, take all the water out of your brush, put your brush back on your artwork and your brush, look, take the colour back out, okay? That's called dry brush technique. Pull the colour back out. I'll, I'll add it back in now, shall I? So if you've got a puddle going on, <laughs> a great way to lift so I'm just going to take some of the black now and I'm going to try and get some dark into the middle of this pot because this one I want you to be able to see inside so the dark part is going to be here I'm just going to drop a little bit of black into the centre there and like a little line maybe a bit darker you can see now when we start getting our detail in there all going to quite quickly come together now i'm just going to splash it with clean clear water like i did with my other ones because i want it to i want my poppy to bleed out a little bit and my water's quite mucky now so make sure it's clean but this is going to give you that texture and then right at the last minute we're going to pull the detail in when it's dry so whilst that's doing its magic that's let me just get some black in, more black into there make it darker so I'm using the pan straight, can we see? No water in my brush, take the water out of your brush. It's coming together, it's coming together. Right, get your green mixed then. Let's get some green mixed. Where's my green? Here we go. You need two greens, a light and a dark. I've got my light mixed here. Now, they're never straight, a poppy lines, never. They're like, as if you, I would say, paint the line as if you have a slight tremor because it really helps with this sort of design. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, what I always do is 
when I'm drawing my um, sort of stems, stamens and things like that, I always start from the centre of the flower and I always like sort of do a practice with my hand like so I think right that's looking like it's going that way so I start from the centre and then I connect here and then I just get my green very very lightly now you're not doing thick stems guys you're doing absolutely thin 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 can we see that there and this one looks like it's coming like it's bending over so I would take it and I'm going to bring it down to here like so so I'm just going to turn my artwork around a little bit and I'm just going to Get the line in first we can always add detail in a short while so my, my tip of my brush is barely touching the card is barely touching okay we're just grounding them and then from this one here very very simply you see that there and we can go in and make them a little bit sharper. I like the space in between. I like the sporadicness of them, but I do like them connected to the flower. So I'm just going to connect them at the top a little bit. Now, if you get green run into your flower, leave it. Don't take it out. It looks cool. Have the courage to leave it. I'm just connecting them. You see that there? So we can see how sort of like now the detail, bringing it all together. Just sharpen my line a little bit. <laughs> so let's do like, shall we do some fake, um, let's do a, a, a bud. Oh, I've got a mark there. Oh, I've got the... I'm just going to take the same green and I'm going to do sort of a bud here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sort of same design that we've been doing and I'm just going to take it up and I'm going to do a bud on the end of this one. And then you saw how we did the buds, just a little oval, just like a little oval, wasn't it? Nothing fancy. And I'm going to leave some white space in it. We'll add some more detail to that in a second. And then where else are we going to pop a bud? Let's pop one as if it's... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Let's do one as if it's coming from here. So I'm going to do the bud first. Just a little one here. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to do the... Just with the tip of my brush, I'm going to bring it right down to make my little bit. Can you see that? Now I think we would get a late way with a little one just protruding from the back of here. I just follow it down, come out about here. I think you're all all right so far because nobody's talking. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a darker shade of green. I'm just going to add some darker shade of green into the heads. You just drop some dark in, let the, let the water do its magic, you don't have to worry about it, just drop it in and let the water do whatever it needs to do. If you start trying to control it, you're probably going to ruin it, so just drop that green in. And then I'm going to take some of that darker green and just add some gr darker green into our lovely um, stems of our poppies, because it's sort of like too light, I think, I think it could do with being a little bit darker. I'm not covering all of them, but I am adding a little bit of darker green to some of the areas. So just to make them a little bit more defined.
and you can see that dark green spot pretty much dispersed into nothing so i'm going to go in again and add some darker We're just enjoying ourselves. <laughs> literally, you would have to drag. Once I get painting, you have to literally drag me away from it, honestly. Once I get going. So I'm going to leave that sort of green area here. And at the base, we're just going to ground it a little bit. Now, I would use my um, detailed brush for this one, guys, with the lines. 